Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Boomi World. Hope everyone is doing great. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please go and check it out now. So in this video, I am going to discuss about what is process route shape and how to configure process route shape on Boomi. So first we'll look into what is process route shape and advantages of process route shape. Okay, so the process route ship allows you to select an execution paths dynamically at runtime. Usually process route ship is a combination of both route shape and multiple process call shapes. So instead of using route shape and multiple processes call shape, you can use process route ship. Suppose as per your requirement, you are using one route shape and multiple process call shape that time you can use process route shape instead of route shape and multiple processes call shapes. So now we can see what are the advantages of process route shape. So by using process route shape, we can reduce the number of paths, processes and shapes you have to manage. Process route shape will provide a single point for managing multiple sub processes. And one main advantage of process route shape is deployment flexibility. So we can deploy parent process, process route or processing group component and the sub processes independently. Okay, so these are the advantages of process route shape. Now we can look into how to configure process route shape on Boomi. So process route shape is one of the execute shapes. So you can find process route shape under execute shapes. So now I am just dragging and dropping the process route shape. Here you can find definition of the process route shape. To dynamically select the process or trading partner suit. To send documents based upon the routing rules defined in the specified process route or processing group component use the process route shape okay so the process route shape is usually for sending documents to one of several processes while managing the routing logic separately it also allows you to modify and deploy the parent process process route component and sub processes independently so this is the definition of the process route shape so after that we have some configuration options under general tab we have display name so this is not a mandatory field if you want to give you can give otherwise you can leave as it is so after that we have route by so route by option identifies if you are routing by process route or processing group so when you are working with the a to a integrations that time you can choose process route option if you are working with the edi project you can choose processing group option so now I'm choosing process route option here. So after that, we have to select process route component. So if you have already process route component, you can choose that one. Otherwise, we need to create new component process route component. So we can create one process route component later. After that, we have options wait for process to complete and about if sub process fails. If wait for sub process to complete is selected the parent process waits for the sub process to complete before continuing to its next steps if the sub process fails the parent process stops if wait for process to complete is unselected and about if sub process fails is selected the parent process reports any sub process errors after all sub processes have executed if about if sub process fails is selected the parent process stops and is marked as a failed okay so after that we have route parameters tab so here you need to select parameter type so based on which field or which value you are routing the processes so now we are routing based on the address field which is coming from the source system right so that's why i'm selecting profile element and profile type as flat file after that we have to choose profile as demo one and we need to choose element based on which element we are going to route the processes so based on the address field we are checking conditions right so i'm selecting parameter value address so now we are routing the records based on the address field so now we can create one process route component by clicking on the plus button so here i'm giving name as demo1 
route component okay so again here we have two tabs general tab and then process routing tab so under general tab we can see sub process options whether it is a pass through or any other so if you want to send data from parent process to sub process you can choose pass through otherwise you can unselect this option so now i want to send same data which is coming from the source system so that's why i'm selecting pass through option so after that we have configure return paths so here we need to add return paths so suppose if you want to send success messages and failure messages to your end customer that time you want to add return paths so the return paths will be success path success path and failure path okay so after that we have process routing option so this is the process routing configuration tab so here we need to add keys so based on which value we are routing the processes the default key is the untitled key okay so now these are the key route configuration options so here we have label so this label is optional if you want to give you can give otherwise you can leave as it is after that we have route key so here we need to pass unique route key to determine which sub process to call so in our case we are routing based on the address field whether the address is india uk or us right so those india uk us are the unique route keys so here you need to pass that route key india it will call the india sub process so here you need to configure sub process okay india sub process so now i'm clicking on plus button and the type will be data pass through and i'm not giving any display name i'm clicking on okay so here i am modifying sub process name as india sub process and i'm adding try catch shape with all errors to return the success and failure documents so both cases i am just adding return document shape so in try path we'll get success documents right so i'm giving a written document shape as success docs under catch path we'll get failure documents right so that's why i'm giving name as failure docs okay so i'm just clicking on save and close button see the sub process india sub process got created and here you need to choose for success path you need to select success doc written path and for failure path you need to choose failure docs path so this is how you need to configure process route component so after that and we have two more keys right whether the address field is us we need to call us sub process so for same i am creating us sub process and i am just placing one try catch shape to capture the error messages with all errors i am placing i am placing two return document shape at the end of the try path and catch path with same i mean same failure doc for try path success path i'm saving the process and i'm selecting path success path and failure path after that we have uk right uk and i'm creating one more uk sub process uk sub process 
and I am placing one try catch shape to capture the error messages with all errors for try path and catch path I am adding return document shape to return the success and failure uh, documents success docs failure docs and I am saving the process here I am choosing success docs for success path and failure docs for failure path ok so this is how we need to configure process route component so I am saving and closing so here you can see return paths both success path and then failure path ok so I am just clicking on ok so instead of this route shape I am connecting message shape to the process route shape I am removing this route shape from here okay so now you can see three paths we have added two paths success path and then failure path and after that we have default path as well so if the address is equal to India it will call the India sub process okay so if the address is UK it will call the US sub process if the address is UK it will call the UK sub process if the address is other than this India US and then UK it will go to the default path under default path I am just placing the stop shape here okay so for time being I am placing stop shapes at failure and success paths as well okay now we can run the process to see the results the process execution got started so it went to the default path because from source system we are getting address as bcl see the address value is bcl so that's why it is going to the default path so now I'll change address to India and then I'll run the process. See the process execution got completed and it went to the success path. So we'll see the route ship logs. See the address value is equal to India. So that's why it calls the India sub process. Okay. We'll see whether it went to the India sub process or not so by clicking on the shape source data here you can find one arrow button so I'm just clicking on the arrow button see automatically went to the India sub process okay so India sub process and it went to the success so this is how you need to configure process route shape on booming yeah that's it about today's video if you have any doubts please let me know in comment section if you like my video please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and please don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will get all notifications whenever i post the video thank you all see you in my next video until then bye bye